Hi guys, I am back with a, another yard sale haul over this Memorial Day weekend. Um, I went to two yard sales and between the two yard sales I spent $10 at one sale and I spent $30 at another sale. And I never spend probably much over about $10 at a yard sale, but it's just unbelievable the stuff that they had. It was all the stuff that fits my decor for my house. And um, let's just get started because there is a lot of stuff. <laughs> First thing is, this is, I'm not even taking it out. This was only 50 cents and it is a table runner. Um, I'm not going to take it out I and mean, then we'll see what it is. But, uh, yeah, so I got a table runner for Christmas or for my little fireplace, or I might use it on my coffee table. I'm just not sure yet, but I got that. <clears throat> I also got six placemats, and these are in really good condition. And I did not know that, I mean, I know Lonenberger makes a bunch of stuff, and I live really close to Lonenberger. But um, it has the basket embroidered on the mat. But yeah, these were really nice. Some of them have little stains, but I think I can get that out. I got some pretty powerful stuff, and I've always had success with it. But yeah, I got, uh, I don't even know, there's four of those. Just four of them, but I got those. I also got this tablecloth. Um, it's in good condition. It's a little bit worn or whatever, but I actually bought it for just the material. I didn't buy it for anything else but to use as material and stuff. But I thought it was really cute. I also bought these placemats. Um, I'm kind of buying stuff for my dad's house too. Um, he is finally moving back home and I'm trying to get things that are a little more manly looking or you know not so girly looking for a guy's house and so I don't know if I'll he'll use these for like placemats for the table or if we use them on like end stands and coffee tables or whatever just to use to put down but I got those and I think those were 50 cents Next, I was pretty happy with this. I got me a shower curtain. Um, it's just, it's a full shower curtain and it's just the tan color and it just has the stars across the top of it. And I don't know, I don't remember. I think this came from the one sale that I spent a lot of money at. And um, we just kind of lumped everything together, kind of added it up semi a little bit. Um, so yeah, I got that. I also thought that this book was really cute. Um, I don't know if I'll give it to, you know, family or if I'll keep this and fill it out. It's all about a grandmother and like grandkids asking her about her past and growing up. And I just really thought it was cute. There's places for photos and stuff. And so, yeah, I thought that was really cute, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I know this was only 25 cents. Okay, next I got some of these candlesticks, and they're just the country candlesticks. This is a small one. You just put your pillar candles in there. Um, but I got these, and... Those were in the whole big thing that I uh, bought all this stuff at. It is ridiculous, the stuff that I bought. I also got this for my dad for his table. Um, this, this, thank goodness, was only a dollar. This was marked. Um, but it just has the uh, horses. I don't know if this is a pewter or what it is for salt and pepper shaker. My dad is a horseman, so he uh, 
has a lot of different things in his decorations and kind of the horse cowboy western style stuff so I got that for him next I got some more of uh, these mainly are bunnies um, I don't have a tons of bunnies for like springtime and Easter to decorate and the large ones they told me were a dollar and the little ones were 50 cents and this little tiny guy which I was pretty tickled about um, he is actually a Boyd's Bear ornament and he's really cute so I grabbed him and he was only a quarter and I got this bunny to use for decorating for spring and Easter I got this bunny which I thought was actually really cute and these are just like the Thai beanies but they're not beanie but I got this and she has a cute little set of overalls on I got this just a plain bunny with a pink bow and I'll simply use all these just to decorate this here was a little bear um, it's a Thai bear it was really really cute and I thought for spring it would be cute to have to sit around or put somewhere so I got that alright now we're getting into some more of the <laughs> I don't know what you want to say the really big bulk of the stuff when at this yard sale that I spent thirty dollars at she had baskets and she would have a little bit of stuff in one or she would have a lot of stuff in one and the baskets were priced for like a dollar two dollars and some of them were three and four dollars depending on kind of the basket and what was in them so this here is actually a Lawnenberger basket but with it being blacked out like that it is what they call a seconds basket and it's got a flaw in it somewhere that they didn't want to sell it as a good basket so the ba this whole basket cost me one dollar at this sale um, and then it just has a couple frames with cats in it but I'm not using those um, I'm gonna take them out and actually put family pictures in these so there's that this next basket as you can see it was priced for two dollars and it has this really cute it's just a picture frame of an old primitive style colonial style whatever kind of house salt shaker house um, but this was in it it also had a star wreath with the pit berries and there are little metal stars in it um, so there was that in there there was also a wire with rustic stars on it Can't see it very well and uh, you can see it was $4.99 when purchased and it was never used and then there was a couple of old spools like in there and I don't know what they really call these things um, some people kind of have used them as like a I don't know <laughs> I don't I know they go with the spinning wheel and stuff like that but what they call them I don't know but those were in there and I was wanting those um, the basket wasn't too much of importance to me although it is a nice quality basket and it is it says it's the 19th century homemade basket um, I don't know this says it's a special collector's edition um, it's a Mother's Day 1991 and it says that must be the name of it it says the 19th century basket company so I got that so I might use it um, I kind of have some of this stuff in my bedroom with a little bit of pinks so maybe I can clean it up enough and put it in my bedroom if not I'll probably just donate that here was another one of those little baskets that she had um, this one I don't know I don't know if this is an Amish made basket or what but it is a nice sturdy basket and again it was shoved with 
little tiny Christmas tree ornaments, which I thought were cute. Not super sure if I'm going to use it, but I might. With them being kind of like cookies, I might make put those in my kitchen on a little Christmas tree. Not really sure. Then there's a little Christmas tree. Um, it doesn't look to ever have been used. Still has a tag on it, but it's got a little Christmas tree ornament of some kind on it. So I got those. And this doily was in there, um, besides, you know, the basket. And this basket was one dollar. This here is either like a shelf or, you know, you can sit it on the counter or whatever. This was two dollars, but it also had this little tiny scoop thing in it, like a feed scoop. And I thought that was adorable, so I got that. Here was another basket. Um, she did have three dollars on this basket and that was fine because the stuff that was in it I was wanting for my crafting stuff. Um, there are prices on some of these and the situation was is their daughter had passed away and um, I don't know how long ago or how soon her daughter had passed away but they had been trying to get rid of her stuff. Um, and she had tons, let me tell you. All this stuff came from that same yard sale that I'm showing you now. Um, but this is just an embossing folder that says Happy Holidays. These are just stamps of different kind of like plaids and grid style and stuff. So I got those. But the different prices were where her daughter had tried selling these. Um, here was one for a dollar that was a all different colored stamp pad that I'll try. And all this stuff was in here for, I think it was three dollars I paid for this basket. This isn't a Lawnenberger basket or anything. I don't, there again, I don't know if it's an Amish made basket, but the basket. I also got these little stamps. I use these in my planners. So those were cute. I got this little Dairy Fresh. Um, I'm going to just use this in my kitchen somewhere, set it with my decorations. It's quite random, some of these baskets that had in them. This here is just a star that you can use the material and thread it through and hang it on a basket or just hang it on a shelf or a peg or something. So there was that. I did get a few signs um, and pictures. There was this one that says simplify and it's a pretty good size bet or sign. I liked it. I also got this for the kitchen that says eggs 10 cents a dozen. And I got this old time Santa Christmas picture that's kind of primitive. I'm not sure if I'll leave that picture in there, find another Christmas picture, or put a family picture in there. Not real sure, but I liked the frame and everything, so we'll see what happens with that. Next, this I was pretty ecstatic about, and it's going to be really hard to show, but this is a really long um, braided rug, and I'm actually going to use this for my entryway because our entryway is pretty long. And this will fit perfectly in there. So I got that. And this here I do know was $4. So I got that. I got this here wooden plate to put up. Um, it says, being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. And I thought that was cute. So I got that. Unfortunately, everything... I can only assume they've had this stuff in storage for a while because a lot of this stuff is really dusty and dirty um, like this that I'm going to show you I don't know. this here it's uh, I don't know what they call these apothecary I don't know what they call them anyway it's got all different colored drawers on it and as you can see it's really dirty so it needs cleaned but I got this and this was only a dollar I was pretty happy about that. 
I got this. He was in one of the baskets, actually. Um, I do my kitchen kind of in gingerbread stuff for Christmas time, and starting in Thanksgiving, and then I pull more in at Christmas time. So I got him. <laughs> Here is another basket. Um, I really just wanted the basket, but um, you know everything that was in it had to go. So. <laughs> whether I keep it, but I really thought the basket was really cute. It's a real heavy duty wire um, and the handle, you know, it moves. And there again, a dollar for the basket. And inside, I am not real super sure what you're supposed to do with these things. But um, I know that the blocks spell out boo with the pumpkins. I'm not real sure I'm going to keep this because um, I don't don't decorate a ton with like boo and scary stuff or whatever um, but yeah those were in there and then there was this little jack-o-lantern or pumpkin and there was this one and I can only assume he's missing something from the top of his head so there was that I picked up this little star it's like a 4th of July um, I don't know what you want to say. It's just got a piece of like grapevine on it and it's sticking on little spools and stuff. So I got that. That was also in a basket. I don't know. This here, it needs a little help, but for the most part, it's uh, kind of all one piece except for the one that's broke off. But it's just a little banner or whatever. Um, just something to hang on a shelf or whatnot with stars and hearts and I just I have one that is broke off which I just need to wire it back on or put some jute in there and put it back together so yeah I got those I did get this little picture I thought it was cute um, just to sit somewhere and there again like I said that is just a price tag from when her daughter tried to sell stuff, but they sold everything dirt cheap. The other thing that was in that big basket that I showed you that was two dollars was this Pitberry garland. Um, it's not a long one, it's only probably about three foot long, but um, I use Pitberry garland and a lot of my decor and filler and all that, so I got this one. Hang in there guys, we're almost done. I got this little jar with the candlelight on it. Um, I am going to replace the bulb because this is broke up here at the top. But um, it's filled with the little uh, pumpkin fillers that like you can get at Hobby Lobby or whatever. That was a dollar. Um, so I got that. And the last two things that I got were... Uh, I don't know if they're like for on a coffee table, but these are really big. They're like placemats or whatever. I don't know, but um, this is probably more of a placemat, and that was probably for the center of a table. But I got those, and those were just thrown in there, and she gave me these, which I'm going to wash up, and they're just placemats. And there again, like I said, I use these on coffee tables. I use them on end tables. I use them um, on shelves and in baskets. And also, um, my dad might get these. It just all depends on if he wants them. So that is everything, guys. That was a huge sale. And this is probably getting a little bit long. But that is all of my goodies that I got. And... If you have any questions about anything or whatever, just leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you on my next haul. Bye guys!